Uh -huh. Is it? Do you think it's too much? Of, if I was um, a guy just reading the newspaper at home, going, "Hey, this this bum on the street wants a free house." Is that? Is that? I'm thinking like maybe how some nor typical American sitting in his warm house might be thinking. Like, you're, you're, are you demanding housing, or, or I'm thinking we're, we're actually what we're looking for is we are demanding some uh, housing for everybody. And we, we, when I say everybody, it's everybody that's homeless. And the reason why the uh, sidewalk obstruction and the camping ordinance because then there's some that don't want to be housed. So they should have the opportunity to still sleep outside. Uh -huh. For us, we want that permanent housing to where we can have a, two programs, intervention and prevention. I like that. You know, have people come in and intervene of what's going on. That's something they want to come do, want to know what our concerns are, what we want. Uh -huh. Okay, we want a permanent house so we can stay home, be safe, be able to lock our stuff up, be able to invite a friend and now over. That's, a, that's is, a basic human right, too, yeah. isn't it? Wouldn't it be just to have a place to live, a place to, to sleep in mm -hmm. comfort? That's, I don't think it's really asking too much. Yeah, and, 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 and the other thing is we want to make sure that it's uh, animal friendly, that families can be in there. You know, it's just not one little housing for a couple people. No, yeah. it's for everybody. Yeah. But those two laws, those two ordinances need to go away. So those who don't want to be out here can still be able to go sleep under the park, mm -hmm. go, uh, you know, lay wherever they want. How about um, the idea of what if they said a few of the bridges you could stay under? That would be okay. That, still that would a band-aid. Huh? Still a band-aid. Yeah, it's a band-aid. is it safe is the question. And has it been safe? No. That's why we're here. Yeah. We're protesting to let them know that, you know, all they want to do is do these sweeps. And the reason why they're doing these sweeps is because of single to mile. Uh -huh. And also, you know, Rush Rush uh -huh. Don't get me wrong. I'm Hispanic. I like single to mile. But it's wrong that they're going to start kicking everybody out. They don't realize that about 35% of the homeless go work for the carnival. Uh -huh. Out of that 35%, 20% is going to see if they can travel with them. They make money. They get to be in a place for a couple months with the money they make. Mm -hmm. And that's where most of them want. They want to find a place to be in for the next month, two months, maybe two and a half months, depending on which hotel they can get into, <laughs> and find that job. You know? Yeah. But they don't see that. So they They're working against it again. They're working yeah. against you. Yeah. When there's a slimmer of hope of opportunity, maybe, it, it gets pulled from you, too. Mm -hmm. You know? It's, they, it just keeps you down. Mm hmm and in this case, they keep you down and they want to just keep you moving or just move, go somewhere else. Go out of our site, somewhere. Um, all I know is they were in there yesterday. They brought out, some, brought out a paper stating that they would open the shelters from May to June. You know, the no, are the shelters were, closed or what? The shelters were closed and they would reopen the shelters. It's because it's better weather or something? Right, or? it's better weather, you know, gets starting to get warm and stuff. But check it out, we've been out here during... It's cold, uh, dude. It's, it's cold, we've been out here in the, in the rain. You know, people got their tarps up, people got this and that, and, and, and here's the funny thing. I, I talked to the commander today over at, uh, over across the way at the flag display, mm -hmm. right, today, that states 438 people are homeless yeah. out on the street 79. Well, I'd say there's about 4,700 that actually sleep outside. How many do you think in homeless. Portland? 4,700. In Portland? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Right across the way is the Multnomah Justice Center. Uh -huh. If they were to let most everybody out of there right now, uh -huh. they're homeless. Providence, uh, Good Sam, Good Samaritan, you know, mm. all these. If they let all the people that came in for like little things and stuff like that out of the emergency mm -hmm. or something who's been sick and been in the hospital and they let them go, homeless. Wow, interesting. You know, yeah, if they I never let thought certain of that. people out of the prisons and stuff like that, some families have gotten up and left because oh, yeah. of things that happen. You know, if there's a husband and a wife, husband goes to jail for five years, do you think the wife's really going to wait around? No, he'll probably yeah. get divorced. Probably lose around. everything. Yep. Okay. Homeless. So you have them. Mm -hmm. That's homeless. Mm -hmm. And then they, they forget that everybody that goes to hotels that, that are out here may be hustling whatever they're doing. You know, drugs, panhandling, trying to do side jobs at Saturday Market, trying to do signs... Uh, up there across the bridge holding the sign, hey, mm -hmm. we'll work for a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. They're all homeless one way or another. 
you know, but they're going in the hotel. So if you pull, you don't quite. Maybe the average guy doesn't quite see the, those numbers like that. No, but they're there. All, no. as you and you just point yeah. out, they're all over the place. Really. Yeah, they're all over the place. You know, and 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 what's a good thing that we we talked about today is that um, you know everybody is one paycheck away from being homeless. They're using con con consensus. consensus. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they don't realize that there's 601 shelter beds. Okay, cool. And that the 1,438 people are like the leftovers. But check it out. How about the Paul Treatment Center, both their youth and adults? How about the Portland Rescue Mission, the Union Gospel, all those little treatment programs, the uh, PAC program, the estate. All full, the, of uh, all full of homeless because they say we're transitional housing. Mm. You kick them out all on the street, where are they going to go? They ain't got a home. Mm -hmm. Most of them don't got a home. Sometimes gentlemen that go over to the Portland Rescue Mission have families, but you got to write a contract that states that you give two years. So you lose out on your family, you lose out on things like that. Union Gospel is four years. Mm. And, and Salvation Army, they don't have a program, but they're trying to open up more rooms. But but if you understand and look at the money that some of these uh, top execs that are making for like the Portland Rescue Mission, um, I did it a little be better digging. applied. I did a little digging, and he he makes like I don't know, it's like five hundred and something thousand dollars. Oh, a year. give me a break. The guy over at the Union Gospel. I think that's the problem right there, possibly. You know, <laughs> that's the mission. The Union Gospel, the guy's making like 600 and some thousand uh, dollars a year. Dude, that, I think there's the problem. I think we just found maybe where the biggest portion of the problem could be. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that and, could be And I'd like to know how the top execs over there and these, these guys sleep, you know? Yeah. And and they say they're, they're there to help the homeless. And huh. people bring so much donations over there that the people in the program get all the good items. And by the time, you know, they're done there, it goes over to their uh, second place called Next Step or whatever. They get to go through the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Whatever they don't sell, it goes into their wholesale place, their little warehouse that they sell to the public. And they jack the prices up. So tell me, who's, who's making the money here? They're top execs, and they're getting all the good stuff, but none of the homeless are seeing it. That you they're know? feeding off the homeless. They're, 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 they're literally they're profiting. Up, yeah. war, not like the war profiteers. They're, they're homeless profiting. Yeah. Off of homeless people, and people are down on their luck. Mm -hmm. These guys are profiting well. If, if I'm homeless, I can go over to the Portland Rescue Mission, sign my name away for two years, but then they get and the shove. And what's that do? I mean, that, what do you that, do? That means they get the shove recovery. Uh, since they're uh, religious based, I have to learn religion. I have to do... In order to get uh, your a uh, little help from yeah, them, you to have to agree them, to these. To agree to them and stuff like that. Mm. And after about a month, I think, it, or uh, for about two weeks, you're considered on a blackout, so you can't really go anywhere. Mm. Right? You can stay Boy. within the area. And, I don't know, know if that's you helping. Go, you can go smoke and stuff like that, but, you know, if you have no money... Who's leaving? Her uh, camera? I'll show, I'll show Yeah. Not here. The government is run by... Shit. Goldenberger. Right. That's why I'm actually in the middle of the job. Just for a second, but I'm gonna oh, go right home. Cool. I'm gonna come back uh, with the camera and all that stuff, and Sweet. we'll do the whole cop watch tonight. Yeah, the yeah. cops actually are on our side here. I think. Really? Yeah. yeah. Some of them are. Some of them some are trying to. Yeah. Some of them are trying to get rid of. Tried something to pull something out of the night. Yeah. But it's not the cops. It's actually the folks in here. It's security mm -hmm. who's been bothering Whack us. Whack and Whack and hut is what I heard, oh, but I'm not sure they do it. <laughs> oh, well, they're just being real nitpicky about, like, how far out our stuff can be on the sidewalk. If we're, if we're putting stuff, like, if we're tying stuff off on their wall, their retaining wall, stuff like that. So they're just coming out here basically to pass like people. Yeah. How are you doing? I just recognized you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Buddy, good, well. good.